bet your ass. Great, good thing about this slider here, it comes with 10 pound test fishing wire when you're on those angles with the tripod, whatever kind of shot you're doing, at an angle and a heavy camera, this uh, fishing line won't break. So, when you're really... oh. One thing they failed to mention with this, uh, this sweet slider is it said on the package, drill not included, and the bit. So in order for this to work, how they have it set up here with the, the skateboard bearings, the weird nut setup, you basically just run it slow with your camera on it, and it will slide pretty smooth. You get that cool shot, cool smooth slider shot. Now it looks like there's a there's a hole for it to go the other way. Maybe in the shipping process it snapped. I thought 10 pound was pretty pretty decent for something like this. But uh, yeah, the Rhino Slider Evo. I guess my uh, best known look is Ferrari. That would be the look that I really uh, made my bread and butter on. Could you do that for us? Sure. I guess I'm also known for Blue Steel. Can we see that one? Blue Steel. Yeah. Ferrari is a much more aggressive look. When I'm doing a shoot, I'm hot, I'm heaven, I'm sexy, I'm coy, I'm nasty, literally. Handcrafted. Really cool additive thing. They actually left the price tag on it from Ace Hardware. It is uh, $21.68 for this nice uh, plank of wood. I don't know the retail costs of everything else added to it. All in all, I'd say they made a pretty good pretty good buck off of me. Pretty well handcrafted, I would have to say. Uh, rails are a little loose. They could probably, uh, probably glue those in a little bit better. It doesn't really slide very smooth on the way back. If I had to rate this slider for uh, for Rhino, I would say a solid seven out of 10. It's really good. Since that's broken on the other side, you just flip this around on the tripod, do whatever you gotta do with your camera and just, just reverse it. Well, I guess you can't really reverse it. You kind of get what I'm saying, you know? Yeah. Boom. That is my uh, conclusive conclusion, I don't know how to talk, of uh, the Rhino slider. Uh, I'm just you guys. Obviously, this is my slider I used to use. I thought it turned out really cool, and I used it a few times. Let's reverse this, what you just all saw. Actually open up the rider, the, the Rhino Slider Evo, and check it out. Let's do it. I just got a thing. It's uh, really, really cool. And I figured I would do an unboxing on camera. Let's do this thing. Oh, oh this is the uh, Moss. That's better. All right, 42 inch carrying case. This is to lug around the slider. All right, and then we got the Evo Carbon 24 inch rails with belt. I did the studio package. It comes with the steel rails just because the camera I have is heavy. Here is the carbon rails. Super sexy, perfect. And the belt, and then we got the actual slider. Ooh, baby. Just unwrapping things, it's super nice. Ooh, ooh, it's nice. Uh, don't talk like that ever again, please. Uh, by the way, the maker of this slider is Rhino. Rhino seems to be the best, in my opinion, from doing all my research. There is, uh, what is it, like Sin something? Sin, I don't know, they make the Sin skate. I figured since Rhino is local for me, since I live in Washington State and they're in Seattle, I believe they're in Seattle, I would just buy from the local guys. Here we go, we got the heavy steel slider. Um, 
Rhino Evo. Come on. Got it. Rhino motion. We're gonna hook that all up. It is the motion. Motion. You hook this up and you can control everything by your hands. <laughs> Adapters for your plugins. This gets hooked onto the slider. This charges it. Uh, communication. Back and forth, obviously, probably. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's all said and done. That's all said and done. That's all said and done. Boom, boom. Uh, one thing I'm missing that's not here, it's right over there. I'm gonna grab it. It is the arc. So this little guy goes on top of the slider right here and the art controls it to go side side to side as well from it moving side to side you can pan do those like parallax shots it look pretty cool yeah. so i'm excited to use it and excited to show you guys in future videos the time lapse killer is pretty much what i got it for is to really mess around with time lapses more so yeah so this guy goes right on top here and this will control the camera from left to right also moving left to right and you keep that camera focused in center on your subject it'll give you that cool weird parallax movement parallaxes are sweet i do a lot i mean i don't do a lot but in most some of my videos i don't know if you'll notice like in my last hiking video called ancient lakes there is a parallax in there that i added in a an effect through Premiere Pro. It's where the drone was moving forward, but the actual drone footage was zooming out, so it looked like it was just tripping your mind out. I don't know if anybody noticed that. I like parallaxes. Let's see how many times I can say that. And uh, yeah, so I think it's gonna be time to put this together and test it out. So this will be exciting. On the side here, has little beats. Car videos this year are gonna be I already have a few buddies few video ideas lined up with some of their cars and it's gonna be tits. I have never used a slider before but all the ideas in my mind for this thing for car videos, time-lapse videos, throughout my travels in the summertime I will be doing time-lapse videos everywhere I go at night during the day probably make one whole project just a time-lapse machine of a video so you'll have to stay tuned for that that'll be pretty cool also those car videos I'm mentioning I do post every week so it's random from vlogs to actual videos that I make to whatever it may be for or whatever I'm feeling for the week that short stack Sunday shit off of here start throwing everything in there. this is better let's just do this Aha, there we go. Got everything here. So this is the case. This is the rail. This is the extra rail that came with it. This is the motion. This is the arc. And we're gonna put this together and try it out. <laughs> so this spins. This just sets right on top. One thing you have to remember is if you don't have a fluid head or a tripod head for this, you're gonna need one because the screw's on top. Also, you need to get the appropriate cable for your camera in order to use the arc as well for the time lapse mode. Super sick. All right, well, let's uh, try this bad boy out, huh? super random sequence but it's kind of me dipping my toes into the water to try out the slider and see what I can actually do with it for 
later on videos for time lapses, etc. Make sure you guys hit that sub button if you guys like what you saw and that little bell to get notified because every week I post a video every Sunday for those short stack Sundays. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.